Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here, celebrating like the rest of the universe the uh, cool medical news that apparently two to three cups of coffee is going to make you live longer and give you less heart disease until they change their mind tomorrow. Let's seize the moment to ramp up our coffee addiction by adding some spices to our coffee. Let me introduce you guys to the fascinating world of Hawaiage. What is Hawaiage, you may say? What is this funny word? It's an Arabic word. It comes from Yemen. It's a spice blend. And there is not just one Hawaiage, there are two. There's soup Hawaiage and coffee Hawaiage. Coffee Hawaiage is aniseed, fennel seed, ginger, and cardamom. You may notice those things all have something in common. They're good for digestion. Very clever, ancient Yemenite people. So uh, if you do live somewhere where you can buy this stuff off the supermarket shelf, here's what you're looking for. Not looking for this. This is Hawaiage for soup. It's yellow because of the turmeric in it. You don't want that in your coffee. You want the Hawaiage coffee mixture. And a uh, shout out to um akiva who told me where to find this stuff in jerusalem perig spices not the only place but if you look in shuk mahane yehuda uh, go into perig and you can pick up some of the hawaiage for yourself i just kind of pull the label off so it looks like i actually went to the trouble of making it yourself uh but speaking of that you actually can uh just blend those uh, spice together and check out the bokeh on my camcorder people say camcorders can't do bokeh there you go a bit of bokeh action Okay, back to the coffee. So um, I always uh, do, what I'm gonna be doing for this uh, video is kind of a blend of Turkish coffee with Hawaii, which is obviously Yemenite influence. So sort of mild cultural appropriation here. Um, you can actually use Hawaii in other types of coffee. You can, uh, I wouldn't recommend putting it in an espresso machine. That seems a bit risky to me, but some people have done it, I've heard. Definitely pour over coffee. You could add some Hawaii into the coffee. So I went ahead and hand ground my usual quantity of coffee for a finjan of Turkish coffee, which is precisely one tablespoon. It takes about two minutes and it's uh, kind of therapeutic as I always say. So one tablespoon of hand ground Turkish coffee and then we're going to come in and add one teaspoon, not tablespoon, teaspoon of our Hawaii mixture. So just these spices are strong so you don't want to add too much of them. Uh, so this is basically a uh, teaspoon. I'm going to just uh, mix it up in this little bowl so you, you guys can watch as the uh, things come together. I'm adding a tiny bit of sugar now. I'm adding one tablespoon of sugar. Now, interrupt this fascinating programming to talk about the three levels of sweetness for Turkish coffee. You can add from 0 0.5 to two teaspoons per finjan of sugar. And uh, in Turkish, oz sekerli, orka sekerli, and sekerli. So I went for half a uh, teaspoon or one teaspoon, which is like kind of mild sweetness. And I'm just gonna mix it in together. This is completely unnecessary. I just thought it would be fun to do this for the camera. So here's what the mixture looks like. Our dark coffee, uh, light roast coffee, and a little bit of Hawaii to spice it up. And uh, we're gonna add one finjan worth of water or coffee and spices into our automatic Turkish coffee maker. If you're doing this in the traditional method, of course, now you wanna whip out your ibrick and uh, you know go ahead and put that on the stove for a few minutes, usual method. But I love my Arzum Oka Minio. It's currently on sale on Amazon US for $90. I bought it in Turkey for quite a bit less than that. So if you're in Turkey, definitely pick one up. It's probably gonna be cheaper. It takes about one minute to cook our mixture and it gives you this little beep signal when it's done. And uh, essentially now, all that needs to be done is to pour from the ibrik into our cup and enjoy this delightful cup of Yemenite spice infused Turkish coffee. And as I said, if you can't find uh, Hawaii or you can't buy it online, you can just, uh, you know, make it yourself, follow a recipe. Jamie Geller has one. And uh, one thing that you might encounter is that some of the spices may not sink to the bottom. So just get a little, if that bothers you, get a little scoop and uh, scoop them out yourself. And now we're gonna have a very, very long fade as I also fade out. Thank you guys for watching uh, this another coffee video here on my YouTube channel. Do subscribe and like if you wanna get more content from me. Thank you for watching.